Hello everybody, welcome to Build Fly Go. So this flight is um, heading out to the Landings Condominium. It's a fly-in, uh, I don't think it's a community, I don't think anybody lives there, um, but it's a small airport in Illinois, uh, northwest of Chicago, um, near, um, oh gosh, there's a couple of different uh, little communities out there in smaller airports. Um, I think Casa de Aero is uh, just south of there, which is a great little one runway, bunch of houses there. Um, and uh, Lake in the Hills, I believe, is right next door as well. So it's it's in a it's in a really good area for <laughs> for fly-in communities. Um, I hadn't been there before. It's uh, a nice little runway um, and uh, a bunch of hangars. I don't think I saw any houses, um, but I believe it is private. Either way, I flew out there to deliver a part. Um, I'm upgrading the ADS-B uh, in on my aircraft. Not sure if you guys remember or if I have mentioned this. So but I built this aircraft before Garmin released the um, GTX 35 and 45R units, which are the transponders that do... Um, Rather, the 45R is the transponder that does ADS-B in. Uh, so I have a GTX 23ES, which is the, the one before that. So the 23ES um, is a, uh, it does uh, extended squitter 1090 only, um, which is fine with me. Um, and it's a, you know, it's a great transponder. It's remote um, and it's fully controlled by the G3X system. I believe it's experimental only. I think the certified version of it is called the GTX 33. Um, so what that means, because it doesn't have the built-in ADS-B in that the, the current GTX 45R has, I have a separate ADS-B in box uh, that gives me traffic and weather. Um, and similarly, uh, it's the GDL 39R which is the previous version of the GDL50R. <laughs> um, so I'm replacing it. Oh, here we go, coming in for landing. Nice little approach. Yeah, it's a great little airport. Yeah, I didn't see any houses. Anyway, so you might have seen them off to the right in the golf cart. Yeah, there we go, and I'm just following them in. The nice hangar on the back there. And uh, here we go, heading back. Um, so I'm replacing the, the GDL uh, with a... 50 or 52, uh, so the difference is the 50 is only ADS-B in out, I'm sorry, ADS-B in, uh, the 52 is ADS-B in plus XM weather in. Um, so yeah, so it's, the box is, is <clears throat> the same size, the same mounting, it uses a DB15 connector instead of a DB9, so no big deal, it gives you an extra serial port, um, which is nice in these airplanes, uh, but other than that, it should be pretty much exactly the same, slightly newer unit. Um, and the, the reason for the upgrade for me was I wanted uh, Sirius XM uh, as something that could be managed by both screens as opposed to one screen. You may have noticed I have uh, XM on the right-hand screen, um, and we use that for, I have the uh, radio subscription that we keep in the plane. It's about four bucks a month, I think, four or five bucks a month. Um, in case you have uh, XM radio, uh, if you call them and you hassle them, they will knock the price down every time you call them. <laughs> so I'm down to about four or five bucks a month, which I think is the most I'm willing to, to, to pay for that at this point. I don't have the weather subscription. The weather subscription is really expensive, and it doesn't give you very much over uh, ADSB in uh, FISB weather. Uh, which is free, right? Like you get that over the air, it's free. So I don't pay, I don't choose to pay for uh, XM Weather, uh, mostly because I don't, I don't see the value. If they had a, you know, dirt cheap plan um, that just has exactly the same things as um, ADSB, ADS, sorry, FISB Weather, but, you know, better coverage, right? Like the thing with FISB Weather is you don't pick it up on the ground, um, and sometimes you're out of range of a station or something like that, right? Uh, yeah, I'd maybe pay a few bucks for that, but I'm not paying, I believe, the cheapest 
price is 30 bucks a month or 20 bucks a month it's it, no not worth it <laughs> but anyway so this was just a drop-off flight real quick um heading out there i believe it was like a half hour or 40 minutes to drop off a part and then heading back to madison it looks like i am setting up to land on 2-1 um if the geography works for yeah yeah that looks like 2-1 did i get this right yes 2-1 all right, and heading back. Thanks, everybody. We'll talk soon.